three weeks before Election Day, Republicans are working overtime to strip back voting rights and sow distrust in the election. And now, DOJ is fighting back. The U.S. Justice Department is suing Virginia officials for removing registered voters from the system while early voting is already underway. The lawsuit says Virginia Republicans not only violated federal law by purging voter registration so close to Election Day, that the process, ordered by Republican Governor Greg Youngkin, uses often inaccurate data from the DMV to determine a voter's eligibility that, quote, does not require the DMV, Department of Elections, or local registrars to take any steps to confirm an individual's purported non-citizen status prior to mailing the individual a notice of intent to cancel. End quote. The individuals they've identified as non-citizens include U.S. citizens. Joining us now, former U.S. Attorney and former Deputy Assistant Attorney General Harry Littman, Juanita Tolliver, is back with us as well. Harry, the lawsuit plainly states Virginia's, quote, unlawful actions here have likely confused, deterred, and removed U.S. citizens who are fully eligible to vote. So where does this go from here? Well, it goes to a district court, which ought to apply the law and tell uh, Virginia to stand down. But it's just as you say, and the first point to note is this non-citizen idea. Juanita just mentioned it in Georgia. It's the sort of flavor of the of the year this year that Republicans are using around the country in different ways to sort of uh, get at uh, trimming the rolls. What happened in Virginia, Glenn Youngkin has ordered a process where if the DMV has some inconsistent data, they identify people. And by the way, it's clear there are basically no non-citizens voting, but that's the premise. They'll identify people with a discrepancy, and then they've got to prove that they're okay to vote. So they're either going to be, these are, we're talking about naturalized citizens, they'll, they'll be either cowed, or who wants to go through, you know, basically getting a whole new driver's license kind of problem in the two weeks before an election. And that's what they're trying to do. That's the important point here. I, this is just, this is 